Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'll talk about new feature line art of ControlNet version 1.1. We will use this feature to transform plain black and white logos into breathtaking images by using just simple prompt. For our image generation, we are going to utilize the free tier of Google Collab and in the end we will compile these images into amazing GIF just like this. So we'll be using ControlNet line art uh, for this. And there are two ways you can uh, use. Uh, one is hugging phase, uh, which is running over uh, here. Uh, I'll provide the link. You can use this. But again, the problem with uh, hugging phase is that you know a lot of people are using it, and wait time is really high. So to avoid this, we will be running it in our collab. So I've already created this uh, collab for us. I'll share this uh, with you guys. Uh, you can uh, use this. Okay. So let's go ahead and. Uh, run this uh, to before you run this uh, just check out one thing is that you know in runtime uh, change run type and uh, it should be gpu uh, for sure sort okay otherwise it will not work and you can save this and then we are just taking out uh, checking out the code over here then we are going to this particular folder running the requirements and then running this app okay so let's go ahead and click on run all and it will take around four to five minutes and everything will be ready uh, once it is ready, you will find a link at the bottom over here, uh, which interface will look exactly like this. So let's wait and I'll come back. So you'll find that application is up and running here. Uh, we have a Gradio UI over here, but this doesn't look well. So I'll just go ahead and click on this link and open it in another window. So where we will be working. So let's wait for a few more seconds. Yes. So you can see here, uh, we have the control net version 1.1 and all the functionalities are here. But in today's video, we'll be just looking at this line art uh, options. So once you click on this line art, you will have an option here to drag image here and then you can provide a prompt over here. So I have chosen this uh, chat GPT logo over here. OK, and let's have a look at the advanced option over here. You will see that we have this line art number of images. Uh, we just want to generate one. Uh, OK, and then we have image resolutions and then we have guidance scale nine number of steps as 20 and then we have randomized seeds. OK, so let's go ahead and provide our prompt and run this one. Uh, it will take few seconds to generate the image. Let's wait. So we have the output here. Uh, let's click on this one and you can see here so you can go ahead and save this image. Uh, we can go ahead and create another one. So this time I'm going with uh, lake. So for the lake, this looks really beautiful and let's try another one and this beach one looks really great, right? So let's go ahead and save this one. So you should create around 15 to 20 images uh, for this video. I've created around 20. So let's have a look here. This is about field. Then we have beach here. Then again, sand, river, again, beach, city, forest, and so on. We can use any software uh, to create the video, but here we'll be using this GIF maker. Uh, so you can use this easyzif.com website. Uh, go to zip maker and here you can choose the file or you can manually order as well so let's click here and you can select up to 20 files over here so once everything is selected you can click on uh, upload and make gif once the file is uploaded you will find all the files in alphabetical order uh, i have named it in a number so that's why one two three four it is over here and you'll notice that uh, by default the delay is 20 millisecond if you want you can go ahead and increase it to uh, your like so i'll go ahead and give it 34 now and it will update everywhere and you can click on this make gif it takes around 10 to 15 seconds to create the gif uh, you'll see here it is already ready and the file size is around 7 mb and if you want you can just go ahead and right click on this and save this uh, gif file in your system and uh, that's how you can create a uh, line art and use uh, to create a video like this so if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button share with your friends and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.